Hi, my name is Doug Pat, and this is So You Want to Be an Architect, a seven-part series exploring the architect. This is lesson two. What does an architect make? On the surface, this sounds like a dumb question. An architect makes buildings. But if you look below the surface, you'll see that the answer is much more meaningful. Ralph Waldo Emerson was a well-known writer, philosopher, and poet. He said of Greek architecture, quote, it is the flowering of geometry. Translated, Emerson was referring to the Greek architect's elaboration and mastery of shape and form. Anne-Louise Germain de Steel is a little-known Swiss author who lived in Paris and abroad. She is quoted as saying, architecture is frozen music. In simple terms, her comment means that architects make a kind of static harmony of sound. Philip Schaff was a Swiss-born Protestant theologian. He said, quote, architecture is a handmaid of devotion. A beautiful church is a sermon in stone. Elaborating a bit on Schaff's comment, we can imply that architecture, like a sermon, is also a kind of message or story. And finally, John Ruskin, an author, poet, and artist, said of architecture that the mere sight of it, quote, may contribute to mental health, power, and pleasure. In other words, architecture is an inspiration. So let's move beyond the specifics of what each person was referring to and draw some general conclusions. In simple terms, these four individuals tell us that an architect, when creating buildings, makes form, story, music, and inspiration. So let's take a look at a couple examples of each. When I think of architecture as shape or form, I think of Frank Gehry, famous for pushing the limits of modern technology while creating monuments to modern engineering and form making. Some examples of this are his museum in Bilbao, the Stata Center, or his Disney Concert Hall. When I think of architecture telling me a story, I think of Frank Lloyd Wright's Guggenheim Museum that tells a story from the outside about how one moves through the spiraling galleries on the inside or the Pompidou Center in Paris that tells a kind of color-coded story from the outside about the mechanical inner workings that make this building function on the inside. When I think of architecture as beautiful music, I think of the buildings of Aero Saarinen, whose work resembles naturally soaring forms as they strain to hit the high note, or the way Frank Lloyd Wright's falling water harmoniously blends into nature and almost sings with the waterfall it sits above. When I think of architecture as inspiration, I think of the great cathedrals of Europe and the U.S., or the great skyscrapers of our cities. So while some may think that architecture is just about making buildings, you know that making architecture is about making much more than just a box with windows. Among other things, it's about making form, story, music, and inspiration. And that concludes the second part of our video series, So You Want to Be an Architect. I'm Doug Pat. See you next time on How to Architect.